the Executive Committee of Pakistani American Society is hosting tonight in Ben Salem the event of empowerment and civic engagement of Pakistani Americans in the United States. At tonight's event are expected to attend 200 people, among of them the General Counsel of Pakistan in New York, the Senator of Pennsylvania, John Sebatina, the State Representative Jean Di Girolamo, the Mayor of Ben Salem, and Dr. Farooq, the CEO of SACOP organization. We have uh, Akil Khan Saab here. He recently got an uh, award for Congress, and uh, we are proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Congratulations. Much, Thank you very much. And, uh, Thank you. Can you please tell us uh, what is that award about? You know, this award was uh, uh, it is awarded by the U.S. Congress through our uh, Congressman Donald Norcross. This is a, a kind of a big proclamation which shows my services with the community and my services with the diversified community bringing the people together mm -hmm. that's what america needs from all our immigrants mm -hmm. and uh, working for his schools working for communities working for all kind of fundraisers mm -hmm. and uh, so i was invited by the congress and they put me there gave it to them uh, that that very nice. I think you have done a great job, and that's what we need to do. The community yeah, service. We yeah. have to bring the communities together. Yeah, that's right. the only way we can improve your yeah, image. Right. You're what right. we have done actually that is improve the image yeah. of the community. Yeah, right. And that's anything good. special you did, you can mention mention one thing that you have done that you can. Uh, you know, most the, important. The most important thing, as 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 I said, to bridge the gaps between the communities. Those are here. Yeah. Like we have been contacting not only local communities, but they know that uh, in New Jersey when I started this work, mm -hmm. people when I talk to them, they will say, uh, where are you from? I will say, from Pakistan, India. And that's a fact. So we work, started working on that. And the other big mission our was to bring the name of Pakistan uh, as good citizens of Pakistan here. I agree with you. I cannot agree with you more than that. When somebody doing, people judge you with your actions. Right, exactly. When as a Pakistani, they look into your action, what you're doing, that definitely going to help the whole community. And with this uh, uh, U.S. Congress, I also I was also uh, invited in the Senate, New Jersey Senate, where I was also awarded, and. Uh, uh, there were about 35 or 30 senators and secretaries and uh, all important okay. where I am. I'm a small man, but when I heard that every line which was said about me, it has the name I, of our country, I know, Pakistan. I, you are not a small man. You're a big man. <laughs> what you have done, that is a great job. No, thank and thank you very much, Khan Thank, thank you, you very much, much Dr. And keep the good much. work up. Thank and you. I must assure you, thank you, whenever you need my service, Thank you. I'll be with you. We Thank can you do so everything much. better for the community. Thank you. I'm, I'm with you. Thank you very much. Thank you about the great event that you hosted today. Can you tell us a few things about the empowerment of communities and civic engagement? Listen, we have been working very hard here, and the goal for this this dinner tonight that put everybody together, have every professional doctor has to be together. And this is the time, what color you are, where you are, where you're from, either you drive a taxi, either you are a doctor, you have to be together. And that's why you have to be united. And this is our goal, and that's why we're trying to do and see what happens. So this is the message that you want to communicate to us? Community, yes. Yeah, this is like a community, tell the people, the, our people, that what we're doing here. And that's it. We have a, a councilman, senator, everybody together, and give our message the Pakistani American society, what they're doing here. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. My question to a West Laurie is that he has uh, done a wonderful job yesterday. He ran a rally about uh, Muslim ad advocation, what was happening uh, uh, recently to raise the image of the Muslim. So can, can you please tell us about that rally? Sure. Uh, first of all, what I have been seeing in the media that there has been a negative image being portrayed and it is totally incorrect. I wanted to make sure that we 
stand up in unity together. And uh, we didn't have much time just last Monday when I saw all the negativity being uh, spewed in, in this. I realized it's negativity or hate is very contagious. And it's, I think it's four times more contagious than love. So we wanted to make sure we convey the, and get together, convey the right message. And in doing so, I asked my wife, she's an extreme uh, help in comes, uh, when it comes to these things. And uh, we were able to get the permit right away. And with, on the same day last Monday, and within three days, we organized this rally. We, sh we sent an email to all the centers, and I made a personal call to all the leaders of the community. And uh, it was a tough call whether to have it on Friday or the weekend. We thought a weekday would be much better because uh, at this time there will be uh, more people nearby. We did it on the city hall because that's the center. And the uh, good thing was it. Uh, we had children, we had women, they all came and they spoke on that, they spoke on the issue and basically this rally I had three goals and uh, we accomplished all three of them. The first goal was to uh, condemn terrorism, to show that uh, Muslims uh, detest and condemn terrorism, extremism, radicalism or any form of it. And number two, we want to make sure that people understand we promote peace, and Islam means peace. We want to make sure we uh, we tell everybody how much peace-loving community we are. And the third goal was that we 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 feel the loss that uh, a tragic loss of lives in uh, San Bernardino as well as in Paris, and we want to remind those families that we pray for them. We, our heart goes out to them that uh, what they have gone through and we stand in solidarity with them. And we ended the rally with a vigil that happened at 5 p.m. and it got dark. And uh, the good thing was even the kids, they were 8-year-old, 10-year-old, even they spoke because I know some children may be subjected to these kind of hates and they should feel uh, powerful that they are Muslim and they are immigrants and U.S. America is a nation of nations and um, I, I'm not aware of any country that welcomes immigrants and they allow them to assimilate more than any other country in this world. So, so I felt good and we all chanted and the media was there and there were bystanders who were coming by and they were congratulating us and one of the person took the megaphone or uh, a loudspeaker from us, he said I want to address you. So I was a bit concerned. But the message he said that we hear you loud and clear, you guys have a voice of peace and we support you. So that was very encouraging to hear everybody. There were a lot of people who came out of their offices, they heard us and they understood us. So I think it's incumbent on every Muslim, anybody or even immigrants who are within the U.S., they should speak out if they see something that they are being portrayed negatively, it's their job. It, you don't have to be a leader, you know, anybody can do that. They can. They can say what they feel. If they feel strongly about something, they should speak out. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, what's your opinion about today's event? Uh, this was a very nicely done event. And uh, uh, I am uh, president of Pakistan American Society of South Jersey. This is a sister organization. And uh, it's good to see that many fellow Pakistanis. And it's good to see that they are also uh, aligned in the same ideology that we are. So we all have the same goal. We want to, we have the similar outreach program. We reach out to our community and the goal of this organization is exactly the same as ours. That we are promoter of our cultural values. We want our families and our children to show that we feel good about our heritage. We are proud to be Pakistani and being Pakistani or being a Muslim and together it's a good thing. I think it's a very powerful thing. It in, improves the self-esteem of all the members. And our message is very clear that we encourage communication and our culture is beautiful. I don't care how it is being portrayed, but we feel good about our culture. So I would like to ask you, what's your opinion about empowerment and civic engagement Pakistani-Americans in the United States? Yeah, this one is very important question, empowerment. This one, we actually the main power is the community. The, if we together, you know, with the community work 
I think is more powerful. And that's why, you know, is the work is Pakistani American society and also the SECAP and uh, another, you know, the polit uh, political, you know, the society is also is working. A very interesting and very informative, plus uh, good for community, we all got together, solidarity and uh, ability to uh, ex uh, express our opinions and express our concerns about the community and make, uh, make, uh, make it better and find ways to make it better. I feel like that it's an important issue and we should uh, definitely get engaged and get uh, involved in uh, local community politics as well as trying to help our uh, community uh, and our own uh, Pakistani uh, citizens. Yeah. What do you think was the message that they wanted to communicate tonight? Uh, the message, uh, in my opinion, was uh, what I understood is that uh, Dr. Farooq uh, is, uh, is leading this uh, effort to, to put together this, uh, uh, this society where uh, community uh, can get together uh, and then empower all the community to, to get engaged in politics and get uh, engaged in helping each other and solving each other's problems and issues. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yes, my name is Wassam Al Qasim. I'm the president of the Council of American Islamic Relations, Care Philadelphia chapter, and I came here to uh, to meet my friends at the Pakistani American Society. They've been very strong supporters of our organization, so I came here to uh, show my support to the organization and to meet friends and renew acquaintances and to make new friends. Thank you so much. My pleasure. We had Dr. Mushtaq Ahmed here tonight. Thank you very much for coming here tonight. Thank you very and much. And it's a pleasure to have you here. Yes. So what is your opinion about the program tonight? It was very nice, good, and uh, very informative. So we love it. It was good. About a year or two years ago, we never had any sort of a political involvement in this community. However, what ended up happening was after the first Ramzan dinner we had, uh, people got together under Dr. Farooq's guidance and leadership. We just went through with creating our SACUP and now it's recap and uh, got people together. Now we got our first Democrat elected into the council, which has never happened in the past 20 years. And so, yeah, I think we're making good strides. Uh, and again, us and our team all together. So that's, that's where it is. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. So much. No Teamwork, dream work. That's right. Thank That's you. Right. What's your opinion about today's event? He's a very good. I am a ex president in this society. I was a vice president, then I twice in a president for this. It's a nice introduce the people and the work for the community and they try to do their best. What was the message that they wanted to communicate tonight? There was a message to let them have a community, any overseas, uh, I mean, nationalities. The people come here to for a talk to with the council general, questions, and uh, if they have any problem, they can solve that. Ambassador can solve that. Did you think they achieved that? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Good evening, Dr. Fran. What, what's your opinion about today's event? I think, uh, first of all, I was very thankful to be invited to this uh, program and uh, I think it was very well done, very well organized. Uh, the uh, speakers were impressive, good gathering. I was able to meet with some old friends. So it was a good get together and uh, I really highly appreciate the organizers doing it. What do you think was the message that they wanted to communicate tonight? Well, the message, uh, one of the message was the civic engagement, uh, and I think Dr. Farooq is uh, doing an excellent job of getting the community together uh, to have uh, the uh, younger generation to be involved in the political activism and uh, social engagement, so it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Well, I think the key is the education. Education gives the power. These kids who are migrated from they are going to good schools, they are getting professional degrees, you know, all these kids who are standing here, they are MDs, they are uh, dentists, they are pharmacists. So this is the empowerment. Thank you. What do you think was the message that they wanted to communicate tonight? The message is uh, go to school, 
respect your parents, get the best and then get a good job and serve the community in which you live. But how did you find the event? Uh, it was wonderful and uh, first I, first of all I would like to uh, thank all for the grand hospitality which we have received here and it was a wonderful evening and for last two days we are getting the grand hospitality from the people of here and we are very grateful to them and thank you for inviting us and thank you for having us here. And thank you for joining us. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Well, have a wonderful evening. Okay. Nice. What the program tonight. That's my first question. Second question is going to be, how can we empower our community? Why it is important for us to be politically active in our adopted motherland? Dr. Farooq, thank you so very much. Uh, yes, I am Victor Gill. I represent not only Pakistan, but also Pakistani Christian community. And uh, today's outstanding, very nice, I think, the Council General uh, Raja Ali Ajaz is a very one-to-one -one person. He answered all questions and the community really felt elated and empowered. So far your question, how we can uh, empower uh, our community here in the United States, I think the main thing is to come out of the shell and get involved in every day-to-day -day life, every walk in education, in sports, in politics. Uh, just get to know America. Introduce yourself and get going. And I think uh, you will find the road will meet you and will welcome you. America is considered to be a land of opportunity. So let's all enjoy it, enjoy the life here, but also all the opportunity that this land has to offer. Thank you, Dr. Saab. Thank you. I was yesterday in this rally called Peace Rally where uh, the Muslims living in America, they were raising up their voice against the bigotry. We, the Pakistani Christians, we joined them. We told them we are with you. Nothing is written on my forehead, whether I'm a Christian or a Muslim, I could be a target too. This country started out with the racial uh, profilation. You know, people were profiled racially and now, while it was only the color of the skin, now they are getting to the religious discrimination. And who knows more about religious discrimination than the people of Pakistan. We have lived through the religious discrimination. And look what is happening in Pakistan. If this country gets into religious discrimination, whether it is Muslims, whether it is anybody, this is going to be very evil and not good for America. You know, your point is well taken, Victor. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much. And we are talking about this ISIS. That is actually root cause of this religious uh, discrimination. So, you know, this, this, this is a fraction of people who right. cannot sabotage Islam. Right. They don't represent Islam. Islam is a religion of peace. Right. right. And uh, these few people who has no country, who have, in my opinion, they have no religion, they don't belong to any place, I think they are sabotaging this. President Obama was right that Muslims should not find rest, rationalization, should not find an excuse. They are the one whose faith is hijacked. They should be the one to take care of, because if, if, if non-Muslims take care of it, it will become a war against Islam. So the first responsibility falls on Muslims because their religion is hijacked. The purpose of this event was just bringing community together and, uh, and have some speakers. And uh, our topic tonight was uh, community empowerment and uh, civic engagement. And we have Consul General of Pakistan. He was here and he did excellent uh, speech. And we also have a uh, lot of other politicians, including uh, Congressman Mike Fitzpatrick, he gave his uh, a message, live message on the phone. And we have uh, State uh, Senator John Sabatina. He's our new friend for our community. And we also have uh, Mayor of Ben Salem, jo Joseph DiGiromo, and the State Representative Jean DiGiromo. And we have uh, Amy Strauss, 
She is a supervisor, supervisor of uh, Middletown. And uh, we have other two organizations. They came here to, uh, show, to tell us their mission. I think that is very important for us uh, in this country to be involved uh, uh, politically and civic engagement. This is responsibility of every citizen, regardless of Pakistani, any country, to, be, to, do, to fulfill his civic duty to come out and vote and choose a candidate that can do the better job. You cannot cry if you don't come out and vote and then you have a candidate that's not doing the job that you want. So this is very important and uh, it's, it's important to be part of the political process, especially while, when we're talking about these South Asian communities. So they have to come up front now. They have to come on the table now, not on the menu. They have to come on the front seat. So there are two ways of doing it. One thing, you have to support the candidate. And number two, you have to bring your own candidate and you have to run yourself from the community to empower the community. That's the only way that any community in the United States, they can change their image if they come forward and show them their potential that what they can do economically and politically and civic engagement. I'm CEO of Knights Medical Associate, but I'm chairman of SACUP. So thank you very much. Yeah, this is the organization we started last year, and uh, we felt that this uh, South Asian community need an, an, an organization where they can get together and work as a team. So that was the whole purpose to bring, to make this organization. So then when we started this organization, we had to come up with our mission. So our mission, first mission was the health. Given my own expertise in health, that's what I can give better to the community. So we started that one. So we do free health camps. And we do free health camp wherever. We did in a church, we did at the senior center. We, did in, we are going to do in a mosque, we can do in a synagogue. Whoever invites us, it's a community service. We'll go and have the people who don't have insurance. People who don't have insurance, they can't go to the doctor. If they have a medical problem, it's gonna get worse and worse. Suppose a patient has high blood pressure. It's a very easy to treat. And it just can be diagnosed during this health camp, just uh, taking blood pressure. Then it can be treated with very simple medicine that is not even expensive. So that, is, that was the example. So this is regarding what, what do I want to do about healthcare. This is really kind of you. Oh, thank you. And uh, the second is the education. I think education is the key. Our generation need education if they want to progress. Mm -hmm. If you have education, you have a tool to, get to, to move forward. If you don't have education, you don't have a tool. So keeping that in mind, we help the community we have a program uh, in our practice the students who want to go to medical school at any allied medical field, we can help them, we can guide them. You know, we, starting from high school, you have to start from the high school. Mm -hmm. There's a program that you can go into when, when you're in high school. So we have uh, that kind of program. They can do volunteer service with, in my office and um, if they need uh, hours to fulfill requirement for like physician assistant, so they can come to me. So we're trying to help the community in that regard as well. And uh, it's not only medical field, we also, in my organization, we have also other expertise. We have attorneys. I'm looking forward, forward to help, to get their help for the student who wants to go to law school. There are so many fields. So this is a, just a start. I started from my best, that is medicine. And that's what I'm trying to do at this moment. And uh, we're gonna keep on moving forward and, uh, uh, and have more fields where we can guide the students and children so they can, be, they can have a better life in future. Okay, so that was what we talked about the education. Then public safety, our third mission is public safety. 
Public safety, right now, as I can give you an example, public safety, there's a nice in street road. So that is the United States most dangerous intersection in Time Magazine last year. So many people died there. So we have to do something. Township is not doing anything. State is not doing anything. We send a petition to a governor. More than 800 people signed that petition. That actually mobilized the process. So they did some work on this most dangerous intersection of United States, but although it is not still enough, and we are working on that one. So anything that is related to safety, whatever this organization can do, that could be somebody's individual issue, that could be community issue. So we are, we are going to facilitate the process, whatever they require. And of course, last thing is the political and civic engagement. That is uh, one of the most important uh, mission of this organization, civic engagement. I don't care which party, they have to be involved. First thing is to be involved. If you are not a registered voter, go and get registered. If you are a registered voter, come out and vote. If you don't vote, you are losing a big opportunity. So that's what we're trying to teach the communities. And um, we have little success in that one. So hopefully with that time, we can have more engagement of the community. I'm not talking about only South Asian community. We're talking about, in general, other communities as well. A lot of communities lately joined SACOP. And I've heard that SACOP is changing the name. You're absolutely right. Uh, within one year, we learned that one. Our organization came up with the name South Asian Community Outreach of Pennsylvania. That seems to be it's just South Asian Community. Basically, our, what we were doing, South Asian Community was reaching out to everyone. But still, this name was restricted to South Asian. Although we have other communities that joined us, Liberian community joined us, Middle, uh, Middle Eastern communities joined us and um, Indonesian community joined us. And there are a lot of other community, they joined, and there are a lot of other communities that are willing to join us. But at this point, I found that when you have, we, we had to change the name to give people a perception that this is for everyone. And technically, this organization is for everyone. It is. I'm American. So it's uh, regardless of where are you from, you're American. So when once you're American, you're American. It's a melting pot. Everybody's in that one. So America has to be proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. So so we so we are changing the name. Recap. Reaching and empowering communities across Pennsylvania. This could be any community. It's just like any other organization in in uh, in um, Pennsylvania or in the United States. So that will bring more people in this organization. And every community will feel like this is their organization. It's time for myself and for my family. I do my best to get time for, time for my family. And uh, I am a father, I am a husband. So I do my best. Of course, I think I should have done more, but uh, you know, you have to balance your work and your other activities and your family life. So I think I'm pretty good. And my family is very cooperative with me. And they understand what I'm doing. And uh, I think that's a blessing. And also I have a very good team around me. My final message goes to my team. Teamwork is a dream work. All the people who are helping this organization I really appreciate their effort, and, uh, and uh, I am proud of them. And uh, with their help, this organization is going to grow.